Um, have y'all seen a new scandal? Basically, uh, there's a bunch of people mad because they said in their um, Spotify Wrapped, which is a yearly list of the top songs and top artists you've listened to for the year on Spotify, they're saying that uh, Lil Durk appeared in their list, and some of these people are claiming they never listened to Lil Durk, including this Karen right here. She's saying that Lil Durk polluted her list of favorite songs and was the top rapper or musician she listened to but she never listened to dirk ever she went on a rant about it and she said this so mad right now whoever hacked into my spotify account and listened to lil dirk for twenty one thousand hours this year i hope you rot you have ruined my entire life i like oops. i woke up this morning so so excited for spotify wrapped and I literally log into my account and I literally all I listened to was like Noah Khan and Taylor Swift and like you know just like some cute granola stuff with a little bit of like SZA sprinkled in there you know and I, I wake up this morning to <laughs> literally all my top songs and my only artist being Lil Dark. like I thought I logged into the wrong account I, I don't know like this is not me who did this who did this to me? I hey, I got intel on this. So there's a leak, and I talked to my people at Spotify. What happened is there's there's a young boy fan page that spammed Dirk's music, which, I, I, trust me, doesn't make sense. They spammed Dirk's music bots to, to a whole bunch of random people. That's what I was told, Okay. And um, supposedly this was to make Dirk look bad because obviously videos like this is going to get made. Except, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know how it makes him look. But apparently it was a young boy fan page who did this. I'm so upset. Who the By the way, does anybody have her at name? Because I want to see her follow-up message to it. And Lil Dirk, I mean, I just like, I don't listen to him. So mad right now. Whoever hacked into my Spotify account and listened to Somebody said, it's promo. It's not promo. I spoke to multiple people. I spoke to Dirk's team. They said they didn't know what the fuck this was. I spoke to people from Spotify. They showed me certain shit. And I spoke to some other people. And it was basically, um, um, at least at the time of me saying this now, this was done by a NBA Youngboy fan page. Don't know. Does anybody know her name, though? Because I want to go to her at name. So I said, why would we have her at name? I don't know. Like, so one of the chicks is complaining. I want to see her, like, next post or whatever. Hmm. Now, there is a possibility. Well, not even a possibility. In the reality of, of just how streams go, a lot of artists do fake streams. They do, um, you know... They have people botting streams for them. And we've seen this before where some of the botted streams won't be just random new accounts. They'll have access to random people's accounts and they'll use those accounts like while they're sleeping and shit like that to just run up streams, you know? I don't know if that's what this is, but looks kind of sticky. So I said, Dirk paid act to say this to clean up the bot rumors. No, I'm not, no, not even, not even. So I said, everything is botted now. The fuck is going on? There's a lot of like you know, um, bot shit going on in music. Which, by the way, the new laws that have y'all seen the new laws of uh, is it Billboard? No, I think it's Spotify. Spotify is now, they put out saying they're changing their royalty model, right? And now they're saying that uh, they want to crush streaming fraud and include a minimum payment threshold. This is what they said, though. Um, they've been discussing details of a blueprint for a new royalty model with various rights holders in the recent weeks. Uh, they've not confirmed that, although Spotify will continue to blah, blah, blah. Pro rated system, it plans to make three specific major changes to its model. 
And also it will be, let me see, it says they'll be financially penalizing distributors of music, labels included, when fraudulent activity is detected on tracks that have been uploaded to Spotify. So obviously they haven't instituted it yet, but if y'all do think any of this is fraudulent activities on the behalf of the label, those labels should be getting penalized if found out by Spotify. So, um, yeah. For the dirt thing, from what I heard, it was some NBA Youngboy fan page that did it, and um, I don't know. I don't know how much it affected him though. I don't know how much it affected him. I know he popped up on my Spotify. Um, what do you call it again? Spotify Rap, and he was number three. It was Burner Boy, Drake, Youngboy, then uh, I believe Gunna and Young Thug. But yeah, this is going to continue to happen at least for um, a while. All right. Yo, chat, man. I kid you not. Give me one second. So I don't know if y'all have realized this, chat, but... uh. You know who started OnlyFans?